Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back with another monthly favourites video. What month is this? This June. Things that I've loved over the month of June and maybe May. I can't remember when the last time I filmed one of these videos was. Oh no. Anyway, I love that my nails match my lips. That makes me happy. I'll put a description of everything that I'm wearing on my mush and my nails if you're interested in the description box below. So go have a look. Let's get stuck in, shall we? First up we have this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the instant look in a palette in Beauty Glow. Wait and I show you. Now, pardon the absolute state of it because I've been using it every single day. Now it is spendy at 69 euro, but in the six, okay, this is where I do the justification in terms of sums. In the palette, you get three eyeshadows, so shimmery, like a champagne color, more of like a light bronzy color, and then this gorgeous soft matte brown, which I'll tell you about that in a second. And then you have the Hollywood Film Star Bronzing Glow. So that's the bronze, that's the glow, okay. And then you have two blushes as well. So it's like a little peachy one and a kind of a more brownie sienna coloured, do you know? If you think that that shade is going to be a bit too dark for your cheeks, you can use it as an eyeshadow. I have done before and it's gorgeous. Um, so what I like to do is I use like kind of the peachy blush and I mix a little bit of the other one in because I can. Like it's easy for me to say, oh yeah, it's great, like you should buy it, it's totally fantastic because they gave this to me. Would I spend my 69 euro on it? 100% I would. I would. Because I just... So I have, on my face today I have the bronze and glow and then I have a bit of the peachy shade on my cheeks and then I mixed a little tiny little bit of that shade in onto the cheeks and then on my eyes, this shade is stunning. I'm going to have a blog post on this so I'll leave the link below whenever that's updated. Um, but this matte shade is gorgeous. Like you literally just have to dab your brush in and then get stuck in. Like it's so pigmented, so much colour payoff. The only thing, like, this shade here could do with being a little more pigmented when it was dry, but when it's wet, it's lovely. And um, this is a really nice shade for like all over, like a wash over the lid and into the inner corner. But I also use this on the inner corner too, cause I'm mad. To be really, really picky, I'd love if there was, if the blushes were bigger, but then I know it wouldn't be square then. Or maybe even just to have like one blush, because this is a blush brush that I use, it's usually like an angled brush. And if you, you can't kind of like judge it around because loads of like powder flicks off around the place. Like you have to really, be delicate in getting into just that shade. Do you know how to put it on my face now? And like you can't swirl it around because there is quite a bit of powder kickback. Um, but once it's on, it's so nice. I just got to look at myself. It's lovely. Just so nice and subtle. This shade here gives just a gorgeous soft glow to the skin. And um, yeah, if you wanted a bit more pigmented, add a little bit of that in. But like lads, this palette is stunning. You can see from the absolute state of it that I use it all the time. But this is in Beauty Glow. I think there are a few more ones. I'm not sure if this is limited edition. I must find out. It'd be great for traveling as well because like your face, that's your face for your holiday. I've also been loving this lipstick from number seven. It's part of their Moisture Drench collection and the shade is Honey Bloom. I got my makeup done a few weeks ago in number seven in Blanchardstown and um, Lana, the girl who did my makeup, used this on me and I was like, oh my god, I think this is just the most perfect nude lip it's kind of like a dusty pinky nude and so flattering on me like i wear this i have this in the handbag once it's in the handbag it means it's going to be used every day and it just feels really moisturizing on the lips because i have really dry lips anyway the best of times and this is gorgeous i love nude lipsticks that aren't too beige or too brown toned and yeah dusty pinks kind of work with my complexion so this this is the fake tan I have been loving. It's a gradual tan from NKD Skin. I've been calling it Naked Skin, I don't know. Um, I've never even heard of this brand up until God, a couple of months ago. I brought it away to Spain with me um, just to test it out and because I don't sit out in the sun and I don't really tan. So I was like giving it a go. Oh, gorgeous, because yeah, I'm a bit crap when it comes to fake tan. So gradual tanners are my friend. And yeah, I applied this with one of the mitt things. I don't even know what they're called. Tanning mitts. Yeah, that's the color. Again, to be picky, I'd love if it had a color guide so you could kind of see. Because the first time I did it, I missed like this whole entire section. I was like, ah, crap. Um, but I have it on today. <laughs> I was at a wedding yesterday and I just lashed a bit on. Before the wedding, I'd meant to put some on on Thursday night and then Friday night. And I forgot to on Thursday night. So Friday night, I put on a layer and I stood there like and I let it dry. And then I applied a second layer, went to bed, woke up lovely and I have it on my neck and everything like that I don't put fake tans on my face because I'm afraid I just have really bad skin reactions at the moment so I just keep it nice and simple and this is organic as well if you're into that like if that's important to you um, I'm not sure how much it is, I think that this is available in Space NK, I will find out and I'll leave the link below, it's gorgeous, just it's like a really nice natural olive glow, you don't look mahogo, you don't look like an arash the posh gobshites like me can use it as well so speaking of skin reactions, I've just been trying to take care of my skin over the last month. I haven't had a reaction. I don't think that's wood. 
anyway, um, I haven't had a reaction out in a good while so I just would like to keep it like that. So I've just been using products that I know are going to work for my skin and that aren't going to irritate and just have me looking purple. You don't know what it's like. When you wake up and you're like this and you're like, oh I have to go to work now, look at me. So when it comes to removing the makeup, especially the eyeballs, because that's my most sensitive bit, my balls, um, I use a micellar and I've been using this from La Roche-Posay. It's the Micellar Water Ultra and it's for sensitive skin. For me. They have three different ones and yeah, I've just been using this one just to finish it. Like, oh my God, I'm actually gonna finish something. That's mad. I put it on cotton wool, take my, my eye makeup off and then um, I wash my face with another product. It doesn't hurt my eyeballs, it doesn't irritate them and it takes my makeup off. Like that's all that you can ask in your life, do you know? My seller, Gentle, love La Roche-Posay, one of my favourite brands. Thanks very much for not scalding the eyeballs off me. I have to give a little mention again for the Note BB Cream and the Note Pressed Mineral Powder. Um, shade 1, Shade 1, together. These helped me so much to get through the last week of life when it has just been sweating. Like, I don't know what else. Do you know, like, oh, if you just look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I'm going to die of the heat and the sweats, but my face looks great. <laughs> That's what it was like. God, the other day, who are we now? This is Sunday, so on Wednesday maybe, or Tuesday, it was hotter than sweaty balls. I kid you not. And at work, there was no air at all. We've no air con, and I had the windows open, and I was afraid birds were gonna come in, but I was like, I don't care. I need to have the windows open to try and stay cool. There was no breeze coming in. And yeah, at work, I put the, I put the BB cream and the powder on, and my face looked the exact same when I got home. So when I came home, I had a shower, took the makeup off, put the same makeup back on because I knew it was going to be grand and then legged it into town for two events. And the two events, like there was just so many people at each one that we were just like this and it was just so squashy but just so hot. And so we all spent our time going, oh yeah, yeah, oh it's great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but my, again, my makeup stayed put all night. I don't use a primer regularly because I crap, I just forget. And um, I didn't use a makeup setting spray, but the two of those together are great. And again, I have oily skin, so that's very important to me, you know, to have a face of makeup that will stay put. What else can I say to you? Um, oh, I wanted to give a little shout out to this. This is the Benefit California blush. Oh, if you love your coral peachy blushes, you are gonna love this. It did have a little golden overspray on the top but that is long gone. So yeah, again, I use the angle brush, swirl it around. I'm just gonna apply some there. I don't have my brush here. Let's go like that. And this gives a really gorgeous sheen to the skin as well. Cause I kind of, I'm over matte cheeks and matte blushes. I just love, I don't know, I just love to have radiance in my skin without looking like I'm sweaty. I don't know. Um, but yeah, love that. I think I went through a phase back in the day where I used to collect all the Benefit blushes and yeah, this is just a gorgeous one. So if you like your curly peachy blushes for the summer. So you know I'm mad for the mascaras and I've been trying out this one from Maybelline recently and it is the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Is it? Colossal Big Shot, yeah, Volume Express Mascara, I don't know. Why do mascaras have like about 12 words in each of the fucking names? It's just, you can never remember what it is. But yeah, I've tried Maybelline mascaras in the past and they've been grand, they have been grand. This one is brilliant. That's the wand. So it's like one of the regular bristly, normal bristly ones. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not plastic, do you know? Um, and it just gives loads of lashes, loads of curl, lift, oomph, separation. And even in the heat that we had this week, it didn't smudge or it didn't flake on me. So I was like, that is the sign of a deadly mascara. I will do a blog post on that or like a video or on Instagram or something. I let you know about that, like, but that's great. I love mascaras that are cheap as chips. And if you notice, I'm very, no, I'm not very particular, but when it comes to high-end mascaras, they really have to wow me for me to recommend them over a budget mascara. I love budget mascaras, they're great. And you have to just supposed to change them every few months, but I never do. Maybe that's why my eyeballs are always scutchy. I don't know. I have to give like a little shout out to this. This is from Ellis Fass. It looks like the ultimate bullet or like a pen. So I was in London recently on a press trip and we had an hour and a half to wander around London. And then we went into this little shop and it was just like, it's called Bloom, I think. And I had, I don't know, it was just like a really random shop where I had like loads of little perfumes, like kind of independent perfumes, like brands I'd never heard of. And then they had an Ellis Fast stand. So Bonnie was like putting on lipstick and I was like, oh, I'll have a little look. And I picked this up. What is it called actually? It is called Ellis Lights Light and the shade is 303, E303. So it looks like, you know, the Touche Clad, the little twisty up your brush thing. The only thing that I don't like about it is the twist up applicator because I feel like you have to twist up loads to make it come up and then too much comes up and then you're left with like loads of extra products. So hold on, let me just try and get some up for you. Can you see? So 
Oh, that's too much product for what I wanted to do. <laughs> Such a waste of product. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> but look at it. I'm gonna have to put some on my face. Like, there's so much coming out. That has really irritated me now. Hold on. I wore it the other night um, in town on the sweatiest day of my whole entire life on this planet. And everyone was like, oh my God, what's on your eyeballs? And I told them. And they were like, oh. But I bring you closer and you can get the picture. So this thing that needs to work on the application. Like, oh, this is such a waste of product. Um, that was £26 in that shop. And... I, I will get there. I will figure out the amount of clicks to get out the amount that I want. Because, you know. And those are some of the things that I've been loving recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what you've been loving recently. And if there's anything here that has inspired you to do a bit of shopping. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.